All right, guys, I've recorded this video one too many times, so I'm just going to keep it really simple, really straightforward, and show you guys my trades for today. Uh, first one was on ACXM, parabolic short. This thing was running up uh, like a multiple of like three times its average range, and we had a gap up. Uh, typically, the stock moves like maybe 40 to 50 cents on a good day. So when we gapped up from 26, then we opened up at 28. So we're up two points, and we run up to 30, 40. We have another two and a half points almost. Uh, range was pretty insane on the stock. Here's a daily chart. Uh, this was a 52-week high breakout, which is something that I like to keep in mind um, anytime I trade a stock because there are uh, some different things that can go into that. But given the fact that this range was so much higher than it typically was and the fact that I had a really good area to risk off of, I felt comfortable taking this trade. So we'll show you exactly where I got in. I was just using 100 share lots on this. I'm trading a $2,500 account. This is my first trade of the day, so I was... Not trying to go too wild on it, but um, got short in the let's see, I got short in like the 2990, 29.94 area. Ended up covering down at 29.71, so I picked up a couple bucks on this one. Uh, nothing too crazy. Looks like it actually ended up fading um, pretty much a point for my entry. So the reason uh, I got out so quickly was because it was holding this half dollar mark around the 2950s. Um, and I didn't really like that. The fact that it was earnings, huge multiple, I mean, or not multiple, huge um, momentum. And it did, the fact that it didn't immediately fade off of that was kind of worrisome. So I started holding this level. Uh, and I said, you know what, for my first trade of the day, I'm going to take a small win and move on to the next. So, you know, coulda, shoulda, woulda, but I'm happy with that trade. It's it's good to start off the day with a single just to put some confidence uh, and some money in your pocket. So, next trade of the day was Sats, another parabolic short. So, this was not an earnings play, but similarly, this was a stock that's trading way outside of its range. I mean, the day before, it's, it traded a, a dollar and a half range. Today, it, uh, so yesterday it closed at 50, and then today it wound all the way up to 55. So a five-point range, and it did it in one, two, three, four. Did it in like 10 minutes. So this is something that's pretty um, pretty unsustainable, in my opinion, especially in the fashion that it went up. So if I can find an area to risk off of, I'm going to take that trade all day long. So I actually ended up taking two different trades on here. I have them marked off these little circles. Uh, they might be more confusing than actually helpful, but... <clears throat> My first trade was at 641. I was in at, uh, let's see, I was in at 5510. Uh, looking at this as the high and uh, expecting it to run up there, test it and roll over. But the thing was, is for whatever reason, I spooked myself out. I saw it run up there. It went, you know, strictly to my plan. Uh, I knew that there was a potential that I could test this high. And it tapped up at 55.60 uh, was the high of this candle. And for whatever reason, I uh, exited my position and then got right back in. So really terrible trading on this on this one right here. I have no clue why I did that. I think it was partially just the first day in the market. I was a little rusty, a little nervous. Um, so, you know, yeah, not, not the best one. But my trade management was on point. But I took a small loss on this one. Got right back in in uh, the mid 30s and rode this thing down. Um, where did it exit out on this one? I rode this thing down into like the 60s, I believe. So, you know, caught a good uh, couple like 50, 60 cents on this trade. Again, I'm using a 100 share lot on this one, so nothing too wild. The next chart of the day was ARNC. This one was <laughs> a fun one. Um, so, this is something that I hope you guys can take away from. So immediately you're going to see that this is also a parabolic trade, but the chart looks entirely different. This is what I call a grinder. Um, and you got to be aware of these charts, especially when they have uh, earnings. If they have some kind of serious catalyst and they're grinding like this, you're best to stay away unless you really know what you're doing and you're going in for a very quick trade. Um, and so I've traded these many times again. I've told myself don't trade them. 
but here I am trading them. And so here's my first trade looks like on this chart. So we have one, two, three rest points. So on the third rest point, I'm looking for some kind of pullback because we rested in a tight range and then immediately broken out. So I figured third time's a charm. I can risk off this area. Uh, it's right at the um, half dollar mark, 2450s. Let me see if I get a crack. I knew there was potential for it to go higher, so I had my risk super tight. I got in on this candle, 100 shares, and I got out for about a 15 cent loss. And then uh, my next trade on it was the fourth rest stop. So now we were resting for the fourth time, and we haven't even made much of a move from the third time. So this, the stock is getting exhausted, and you can think of a bouncing ball. Each bounce, the, the, it's getting a little bit weaker and a little bit weaker. So on the fourth time, I'm thinking, all right, this is going to have some kind of pullback. I don't know how serious it's going to be, but I figured there's going to be something in it. Um, and so I took the trade at 24.92. I took 200 shares on this one. Um, actually, I wasn't at 24.92. I was at about 24.70. So I was, yeah, 24.77, I think, was my entry on this one, 200 shares. I ended up covering it for a loss at 24.82. So now I'm down on the day. And uh, well, actually, I'm about flat on the day, so nothing too major. But what I ended up doing was um, sizing back in on the fourth rest and then covering all into here. Ended up making back all my losses for the day. And uh, this, this brought me up pretty decently. Um, and then my next trade on the stock was this. And this is uh, something that's really important to take away from. So. I know this is a grinder. I know this is um, has a catalyst behind it, and I know that shorting it is probably not a good idea because I've been through the ringer on it a couple times. And so now what I'm looking for is, well, is this gonna hold up or is this gonna break down? And if it's gonna hold up, it should do it around an important area, right? So I'm looking at the support, and I'm looking at the half dollar mark of 2450s. And this is exactly what it does. I mean, it just slowly trickles down. There's never any panic selling. No one's really freaking out. There's no emotion in this sell-off. And so the sell-off's super weak. Um, and so now what I'm doing is I'm just looking for that point that it rests. Um, and so we got that. And now I'm not, I'm not entering in here. I'm not just taking a trade just because I see it at support. Now I'm waiting for it to confirm. And so when it confirms is when it breaks this flag but I'm still not getting in yet. Now what I'm waiting for is a higher low. So now we, we pull, and it's a lot of times a flag, you'll get a pull and then immediately it'll just rip down. And so I'm looking for it to pull up and create a higher low, and that's exactly what we get. So 2450 was a previous low, and then you're up here at 2456, and you get a nice strong green candle out of there. And so this is when I entered in 300 shares, um, and I just scaled out all along the way up until here. Uh, foolishly, I didn't, hold a little piece until the end of the day. I actually went to the gym and skipped out on that. So my bad, I should have left a little bit to ride because we were so close to highs uh, that I, I knew that there was a chance that it could break highs or test highs at least. And so I should have given it a shot, but uh, this was definitely the trade of the day was this long. It was just a really nice trade. I ended up catching, um, what I say, I caught about 60 cents on this one. So yeah, it was a really good trade. The other stock that I traded today, which was a total disaster, was UPS. Um, this one was just an awful trade. Uh, so I traded this a couple times. My first trade on it was, uh, let's see, what was my first trade? Yeah, my first trade was in the 105s. I saw it come down to this level. This stock is severely beaten, or not severely, but decently beaten. Um, and we're right around support up in this area. So I figured, you know, 105, let, let's see how it reacts. We ended up getting, um, let's see, where was it? We ended up, where was that? I think it was right, yeah, right right around this area. We started to get like a little bit of a bounce. I got long, exited, then I got, um, where else did I get long? We got along in the 104s down here. I thought maybe we were going to pop up, break out of this area. Also got uh, spooked out on this trade. And by the time it actually was ready to bounce, I had already left for the day. So I didn't catch this bounce. So this one was not a particularly good trade. Um, but this is the importance of risk management. So I had um, 
multiple losses today. Actually, it was a pretty tough day for me. Usually, I don't have this many losses in a given day. But still, with the appropriate risk management, I was able to pull out uh, $53 in profit, which is nothing to write home about. But when you take into account that I'm trading a $2,500 account, that's about a 2% return, and I did that in a couple of hours. So when you take it into consideration, um, it, it is a pretty impressive number, especially for the number of losses I've, I've had. And so this really just highlights how important having appropriate risk management is. And so anytime I'm taking a trade, um, there's a couple things I'm looking at. So the first thing I'm looking at is, um, well, actually, I'll read off to you guys my trade plan. I'm looking for a parabolic. I'm looking to short the parabolic at a stall point. Whole or half dollar marks are important. Next, I'm looking for an area I can risk off of. How can I manage my risk and what's my potential reward? What would be a probable exit and does it line up? I'm looking for at least a one to three risk to reward. Um, and then my step four is cover for profit or take it long if it grinds and doesn't quickly break down uh, and always take partial exits to pay yourself. And so there's really only four steps to my trading and uh, risk is one is the biggest part actually to it is risk management. So figuring out exactly where to risk off of and what your potential reward is, um, is what will make you consistently profitable in the long term. And so uh, that's exactly what was highlighted today with the fact that I had, uh, I think I had three or four losers today, but yeah, but yeah, on four stocks, I had three losers, um, but still I ended the day profitable. So for our first day, not too shabby. Uh, I want to let you guys know that these videos are going to get better. That's it's kind of a bit of a learning curve. So I hope you guys found some value in this. If you did, I would love it if you guys dropped a comment down below, showed some support, maybe subscribe, like, shared it with a friend, whatever you got to do. Um, I would love to see you guys um, interact with it in some kind of way that lets me that lets me know that you guys actually like it and that you want more videos. So I'm gonna sign off here. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of the day, and I will see you guys tomorrow.